Hey YouTube, happy whatever today is. I think it's Thursday. Um, I actually got a couple of video requests, especially from Alex Tally as well as my friend Angie, who I actually hang out with, and a few others. But for some reason, those two names definitely stick out to me. Um, that I remember they requested <clears throat> that I do a video on what I keep in my recollections uh, carousel. So that's what I'm going to be giving, uh, sharing with you guys today, what I keep in mind. So it's kind of like a storage video. So keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Here it goes. Alright, let's get y'all situated. Okay, as you can see up here at the top, I don't have anything on here yet but a mustache. Um, I have not had time because I started my new job yesterday, which I'm loving. Um, I know a lot of you guys were asking me that as well. Love, love, love my new job. Super excited. So, let's focus on the carousel here. So, my carousel is in a tight corner on my desk, and it just barely spins because it's almost up against the wall. Because you guys know I have a small desk. So, we'll start with the picture side. So, this is a very old picture of Molly and I that we took so long ago, like when I first got her... Um, that's Little Bear, and that's the picture I have on there. So it's fun to put a picture. In this first slot is where I keep my ATG refills. So you could really keep a number of things in here, but I happen to keep ATG refill as well as these are adhesives. These adhesives are, are all right. What you do is you tear it and then you peel off the other side. So that's where I keep those. And then this top bin. I have I have these wooden stakes which are for Heidi Swap um, items, these little wooden stake pieces. And then I just have um, an Elmer's glue stick for scrapbooking that's acid free which I like never use but <clears throat> that's what I keep in there. And then moving on <clears throat> in one of my first shorts, I didn't even label these, I never have and I probably never will. So, I know my friend Angie was asking, what do you keep in the drawer? So, here <clears throat> is a peek into what I keep in my drawer. So, as you can see, I have blade refills, perfect. And I also keep um, binder rings, like for mini elms. <clears throat> and it looks like I've got some little brads in here, but that's it. It's pretty much, oh, and it looks like I also have, I do not like this stitch thing. I need to get rid of it. I never use it. So, anyways, that's what's in my drawer. I love these little drawers. Then, <clears throat> in this section... I have my tiny attacher. Amazing. Love that. Looks like I've got a couple foam brushes readily available. I've got some really bright gel pens. I've got extra staples for my regular stapler. I've got the mini hole punch. See how that's very mini? Um, I've got my watercolor brush as well as just a Stampin' Up pen. This is that stitch thing I don't like. It's a waste of money. So, and then you roll it and you have different stitch effects, but it doesn't work very, I don't know, it doesn't really look that real. In here, I've got some colored staples. <clears throat> Oop, I've got some pliers really for jewelry making, but sometimes when you're working with metal and scrapbooking, it's nice to have. So that is, and looks like I've got a uh, envelope opener, which I never use. But that's what I keep in there. Let me put all this back real quick. So I can't wait to start putting uh, stuff on the top. I might have time today. I might not. But I know people want to see what I'm going to do for that as well. So moving over here where you actually have these things. These things are awesome because all the little stuff that gets lost and whatnot is, you know, won't get lost here. So I have an X-Acto blade. This is a little dropper thing. I always keep my mini mister here. Bone folder. This I use for gesso. It's a gesso knife. Um, and this is a uh, just a little rotary cutter. And then in this back section, um, I have a little rotary cutter with the pinking blade as well as my brayer. Yeah, I love brayers. They're awesome. And then here I just have all the old school fancy cutting scissors. So I try and stay somewhat organized, but I don't know. Sometimes I like to be chaotic organization. So in here, drawer number two, I keep all my tiny attacher um, extra refill staples. And then again, more binder rings and um, some like little window frames. So I, again, loving those little drawers. 
in here, I'm not going to take out everything because there's a lot of stuff in here. So as you see, we've got Microns, which are the best kind of pens, like, ever. If you ask me, um, they're made in Japan, and I use these in architect school, which I'm sure you guys have heard me say, but they're amazing. They work on, oh my gosh, like everything. They work on Mylar great, which Mylar paper takes forever to dry when you write on them, but anyways, they run out of ink quick, but it's because the ink is so wonderful, and they have every kind of tip ever. So these are called Microns, and they sell at Joann's. Um, I've got my smash pen. I've got a couple of uh, little paint brushes. I've got my Cricut, my Cricut craft uh, thing that I still use for my cameo, and it's just a bunch of gel pens, a couple sharpies, a couple markers. But it's really this is my stash of pens that I most often reach for. Here's another one that I really like, a a Faber Castell pen. These are all stuff I had left over from my architect program. So. Moving on over, we have these little hooks, which um, I used to keep my that first adhesive I showed you, but right now I don't have anything on here. Only reason I don't is because it's so pushed up against the wall, there's really no room for anything to hang off there. But, you know, it's okay with me. I'm alright. So in here I have my scissors. I have a couple of my scissors I'm always reaching for. So these are all just regular scissors, and then these are my pinky shears for fabric, which people know not to use on paper. I'm always like, don't use the pinking shears. And then back here, I have a couple of paint brushes, if you can see there. Now these are just Michaels brand paint brushes. I've never really had any good paint brushes. These are just the Artist Loft paint brushes. So nothing amazing. I would like to have nice ones, but for now, that is what I have until I can find some good ones that are a good price. Then moving over to our next section, we have drawer number three. And in drawer number three, I have more tiny attacher staples. I've got more rings. I mean, this is really just my ring drawer. Um, and then last but not least, I have this. You can use this little doohickey for a number of things. Now this you could use as a brayer, which is similar to this right here, this like rolling pin. Now I know they look completely different, but say you're gluing something on paper and you need to get the excess uh, glue out. See, it works the same way as a brayer. Or if you're using gesso, you know, you could smooth it out, you could take it out of the gesso bin and, you know, put it over a stencil. So this is really, really handy as well. So I love that. So if you guys happen to come across one of those, they're like a dollar. It's, it's a pretty cool little tool. And I love how small it is very practical. Okay, now in here we have a bunch of pop dots. Now this, these are, um, this is not all my pop dots. I mean, I've got pop dots like this much. I love pop dots. But, um, I just keep some so I can reach for them quickly. So that's all pop dots. And then in the back, I've just got these little, I was looking for these to do my nails. I need to keep these out. Oh well, I don't have time to do my nails today, but so that's what I have in that back section, more pop dots and those little things. Now, in the center, it used to be, be a big deep hole, but when you buy this um, clip it up, you no longer have that hole. Um, you have a much smaller hole. Um, so in here, I have adhesive. I have these two adhesives, which I really don't use. The only adhesive I really use is like a tape runner or the Aliens Tacky Glue, so I put this small bottle in there. And I also have my Tim Holtz Sander, which is a nice little tool. And that's all that sits in there. So for now, that's what's in my carousel. And this is pretty much, I've had the same items in here for, I don't know, probably two years now. So mine really hasn't changed. And then when I pack for a crop, you know, I'll just take a pair of scissors, I'll take the glue, I'll take a pin, and that's it. And I'm good to go. And my tiny attacher. So I'm going to add some stuff up here. I don't know what yet. It might be small stuff. I might just add stuff on the top because if you add too much on the bottom, it's going to cover all your tools. You see how you don't have much space to work with there. So I'm not sure what's going on, on the bottom um, or what's even going on, on the top. And you also could use this without the carousel because it has um, feet on the bottom that sit inside that you could just use on your table. So anyways... 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and I will talk to you later. Bye!